Do you like me, Carl? He's my said, yeah, he says, so, terrific, that, terrific, like that, terrific, like that, you're terrific, that, no, 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 no. Hello everyone, my name is Alan and today I'm in a very picturesque village called Little Easton. Fairly near to London and I'm here to see the final resting place of Mike Reed, the comedian and actor. Terrific! Yeah, he used to do all the uh, the Cockney stuff, didn't he? He had all the little sayings, but here we are. I'm going to show you now where I'm. Spin it round. There's the church and somewhere back there it's Mike Reed's grave. I'll just show you the village look. It's quite quaint, isn't it? Very blustery. It's one of those atmospheric days. So let's go find Mike. Well, he started out actually as a comedian, well, in show business, um, on cruise ships. And of course, a good decade later, he was on the Comedians Programme on TV, which started a lot of comedians into the stratosphere you know they became famous this skinhead was talking to his mates eh <laughs> so he said uh, you like me car his mate said yeah he says so uh, terrific that terrific like that terrific like that yeah terrific that no, no, no. he says you got a flat tyre yeah he said oh haven't I he said how oh, you get that he said I'll run over a bottle <laughs> he said, didn't you see it? He said, no, it was in this goose's pocket. <laughs> nice looking church. I'll show you. There we go. 12th century church, it says. Oh, yeah. Impressively big. There we are, spin you around a lot. Hmm. Look at the size of the organ. Stained glass windows are spectacular, aren't they? I've just seen a, there's a weather vane over there. They usually have the cockerel on, but this one's got a dog. I don't think you'll see it on camera. Unusual that. <laughs> must be, must be big dog lovers. Yeah, Mike Reed. He, he appeared in a lot of those um, ITC programs. He was in uh, um, Department S. He was in The Saint with Roger Moore. And of course, I've said this before, but it's true. I was Roger Moore's web manager for twenty years, so I did know Roger not really well, but and I'd met him many times, but. He actually got my creed sacked on the Seine. And the reason was that one day he was having a swim in the pool, was Roger. And as he was getting out, my creed went over to him and said, You better be careful, Roger. He says, Your hair's going thin. If they won't want you for James Bond. And Roger, I think, out of um, insecurity, because there's more than this example of it that I know of, he had a similar thing on the Persuaders with Tony Curtis. But I won't go into that story now. But he sacked him. He got him sacked from the programme. He's, he was his underwater stunt double on the same was Mike Reed. So, poor, poor old Mike. He was on his way out at that point, just for saying that. We've seen the church behind me. It's nice, isn't it? Look. Of course, it widens out at the back, doesn't it, to go either direction, yeah. Look at that lovely old chateau style house over there. And this is what you call a tree, look at it, it's, wow, it's a whopper, isn't it? Or it was, I think it's dying. It's been chopped down that much. But that's good news, look, it's not a really big graveyard. We can find him easily. That's good. So blustery today. A personal story with my creed was, well, I've got one slightly, a slight one. I uh, rented a shop about 30 years ago to a person. Um, I owned the shop and I was renting it to the, the lady who did fashions, fashion clothing. But um, her husband did properties in Spain and he flew Mike Reed out to Spain at his own expense to look at various properties. Um, 
I don't know if you bought one. I know I ended up having a property in Spain, but uh, I remember I'm going back to, I think about the early 90s, and uh, yeah, he got a free trip to Spain, whether he, whether he bought one or not. He did buy one in the end. I think if you had to, if you had to say what was he remembered for mostly, it wouldn't obviously be the stunt work because she didn't realise it was him. Um, it would have been uh, <clears throat> EastEnders, Frank Butcher, or it would be as the comedian. Me personally, because I don't watch EastEnders, it would have been the comedians. My creed, comedian, actor and television presenter. He played Frank Butcher in soap opera EastEnders. Reed first worked in entertainment and was a stand-up comedian in the clubs and on board cruise liners in the early 1960s. He then became an extra playing uncredited roles in television series such as Doctor Who and The Saint and Department S. He became a member of the original stars of The Comedians, a popular TV series of the 1970s. He capitalised on his initial success with a one-off record, a novelty version of The Ugly Duckling recorded by Rat Pie Records in 1975. It reached number 10 in the UK charts. He also became the host of the ITV children's TV quiz show called Run Around. Run Around ended in 1981. In 1987, he joined the cast of the popular BBC television soap opera EastEnders as Frank Butcher, for which he gained much popularity over the years. He initially joined the series as a semi-regular character, first appearing in September of that year, but was so popular that during 1988 he became a full-time cast member as his character became the landlord of the Queen Vic. In April 1994, by which time the character of Frank Butcher was one of the most popular on British television, Reed took a long break from the show due to stress from acting out depressing storylines for the show. His return to EastEnders was aired on Christmas Day, 1995. He was initially reintroduced as a recurring character, and after several brief stints in the show, he returned as a full-time character in May, 1998. His character was part of many big storylines over the next two years. At the beginning of 2000, it was reported that Reed was suffering from heart problems. In May 2000, it was announced that he would be leaving the soap opera for good due to exhaustion from long filming schedules. He was persuaded to stay on in the show for a further five months to give the character a dramatic exit. His departure was aired on the 2nd of November 2000 when he famously departed after his affair with ex-wife Pat Evans was discovered by his current wife Peggy Mitchell. Soon after he exited from EastEnders, BBC bosses persuaded him to make a brief comeback to the show. He made a brief return to EastEnders in late January 2002 to appear in three episodes in Spain, followed by a spin-off special episode entitled Perfect Frank. In 2003, he made his final comeback to EastEnders for a few episodes in late 2005. In early 2006, he appeared on the Paul O'Grady show and made it clear that he had no interest in any possible future reappearance in EastEnders, and later that year, he rejected another offer to return to the series. He was semi-retired from showbiz and by this time lived in Spain. He returned to acting in the early 2007, appearing in two episodes of the long-running ITV police drama, The Bill, where he played the part of a corrupt businessman, Brian Stevens. This was his last broadcast television appearance at the time, though he had filmed a reality TV series for ITV entitled The Baron, the network was undecided as to whether it would be aired, but the programme started airing it on the 24th of April 2008 on ITV. Reed was the eventual winner facing off against Susanna Shaw, and after the departure of the other contestant, Malcolm McLaren, Reed was thus bestowed the title of Baron of Troop, a genuine and hereditary baron, although one conveying no privileges aside from the use of the title itself. Reed died in Marbella, Spain on the 29th of July 2007, aged 67. A heavy smoker, he was suspected to have had a heart attack. Two weeks before he died, he had received a full medical examination and had been given a clean bill of health. The 30th of July 2007, EastEnders episode featured a dedication to him following the end credits.
Reed's funeral was held on Tuesday the 14th, 2007 at Little Eastern Parish Church, Essex, where it was attended by over 250 people, including the former EastEnders, co-stars Pam St. Clement, Sid Owen, Michael Greco, Bobby Davro, June Brown, Barbara Windsor and other members of the EastEnders cast. His body was cremated the following day at Chelmsford Crematorium and his ashes were later buried in the graveyard at St Mary's the Virgin Church at Little Eastern in Essex. Reed's family decided to allow fans to attend the funeral and his widow Shirley was also invited to speak. Reed's former stars in EastEnders were also given a day off work to attend his funeral. Okay, I've just spotted it. Yep, for sure. It's raining quite heavy, but never mind, we'll, we'll keep going. Let's move in. Here he is, his Mike. Okay. Treasured memories of our beloved husband, dad and granddad. Mike Reed died on the 29th of July 2007, aged 67 years. A light is from our household gone. A voice we love is still. A place is vacant in our hearts, which never can be filled. Yeah. There we go. God. That's from his wife. There we go. My husband, goodbyes are not forever. Goodbyes are not the end. They simply mean I miss you until we meet again. That's good. And look. Little card from his son. Our son's there. There we are. Read that if you want. Ah. Well done, Mike. Great comedian, great delivery, and a good actor, yeah. And host of Run Around. Good all round entertainer. See you, Mike. So don't forget to subscribe and ding that bell so you don't miss any films. And uh, a thumbs up and a comment will be lovely. And I'll see you all again soon because I'm getting wet here and so's my camera. Take care everyone. Bye for now.